Hi, this is North County PC Solutions here in Atascadero, California, and today we're going to be kind of doing a dual feature in a way. Um, we're going to be trying out a, a free software called Macrius Reflect. It's an image backup system. Um, it, it's pretty cool. Th this particular version is, is a free version, and it will do your whole um, your whole operating system, you know, your partitions and everything with that. And they'll do it in an ISO form, and it even gives you the option of converting it into a, a Windows image format as well. So you can actually restore it from your regular operating system um, restore desk if you'd like. Um, it's a pretty professional looking um, piece of software. It has a nice intuitive interface and a lot of extra features. Um, the free version, uh, the only, one of the only drawbacks I noticed was that... Um, you can't do individual files and folders. You have to do like full backups at a time. Uh, but it is really cool. And the other neat thing about it is, um, once I installed this on, on one machine, I was able to put it on another really cool piece of software. Um, if you're a tech, you, you probably already know about this and love this, but it is Portable Apps. Uh, and it will run off the thumb drive. And bear in mind, this is a 64-bit uh, piece of software. It's relatively new, and um, it's still friendly with the uh, USB type of device like that. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Uh, you can see I had the thumb drive in already, so the Portable Apps is already ready. Um, it makes it really neat. Um, portable Apps will let you run just about anything right off of a thumb drive. You just uh, click on one icon, your menu pops up and you have a list. Um, make this reflect. We'll go there. And I forget these particular machines, the, the, the client has them set up as a uh, single click and I'm used to double clicking. But, um, no, we don't want to hate you right now. No, we don't want to do updates. I should have turned that stuff off. They have time. That was my fault. But it seems to be friendly even despite that. Okay. Maybe one of those little guys interrupted it or because it was my double click. Okay, there's different uh, options here, so let's try the one in the middle. It, it is a pretty full featured program, uh, so. Okay, right now, as you can see, when it first starts up, it is um, actually checking all the volumes and partitions. And it does that automatically. When you install it, it does give you a license key. However, it doesn't charge you for the program. It just still gives you a license key. So don't worry about that. Okay, and it makes it real easy. Um, you can see here um, that it automatically it, it finds the, the, the uh, first physical drive and it detects all the partitions and stuff on it. So it's really good about that. And then um, these here are actually something else. These are the um, partitions off of the uh, USB drive we're going to back up on. So, what we're going to do is, okay, we've got the uh, C drive, primary, the active partition, you know, your, your system, and then, um, Yeah, your backup. Good. Because a lot of these systems have like a backup partition as well. So. Okay, so. We want to. You got different options here of. of um, create an image from the partitions. Okay. Okay, so if, if you choose that feature there at the top here, um, or I'm, I'm sorry, this one here, it'll let you just do all the um, 
it'll automatically select all your um, partitions and drives just to do your, your operating system stuff. It knows that the other drive is an external use for backup uh, purposes. Um, and it'll tell you to look for a folder and a drive. So we're going to go to that other drive. And I've already named it Gateway. And we're going to a little Gateway 64 bit Windows 7 laptop today. And okay, so it's going to the H drive and it's going to Gateway. And you can see that it, it knows. Um, if it's a small image, you can also do it on a CD or even do multiple CDs on its own. It, it knows when it's full and will ask for another CD. It's really an intuitive software for a freebie. And that's pretty much all you have to do to set it up to start backing up your entire computer. Okay. And it just it, it prompts you one more time to make sure it's got all the partitions you want to back up. And let's go ahead and <coughs> we're going to change the name of the XML file to oops. Gateway Backup. Okay, now it's collecting all the images off the drives. Uh, well, I mean all the information to start creating the images. And um, it, it's really that simple. That's just about it. Um, I actually paid for a Kronos a while back, and this is relatively comparable to that. Um, on a scale of 1 to 5, the only reason I don't give it a complete 5 is because they limited some of those features such as individual files and folders and stuff. And by the way, the full featured version of this also lets you go into an actual um, image and be able to rifle through it like, like Ghost or Acronis or one of the more high-end um, backup type of systems and be able to change things without hurting the image, which is really a nice feature to have. Um, it's becoming more and more popular. Okay, well that's, it's that quick. It's pretty much now, it's going to take probably a good couple hours or so to do the image. Um, this is a long process because it's a bit-for-bit -bit copy. Um, one thing you can note though is that unlike the old backup tile image systems, if there's empty space, it'll just fill that with empty space, but it won't bit-for-bit -bit copy stuff that it knows it hasn't been written to. In other words, if you have a 300 gig drive and your system's only using 50 gigs it's only gonna image and compress that 50 part and just check the rest of it so it saves you a lot of space in that regard as well so if you have a 300 gig partition you probably have multiple copies of, of your uh, backup on here various versions as you've done multiple updates okay um, when that's complete we'll go ahead and take another look at it Oh, bye bye for now. Okay, this machine actually had a lot less stuff on it than I thought it did. Um, it looks like it only used up about less than 60 gigs for this entire um, backup, and this is on a pretty new machine with a lot of software on it. So it does a pretty good job and it took, wow, a lot faster than I thought. Um, to back up the entire machine was only 23 minutes and 44 seconds. So that's not bad and bear in mind this is still a free piece of software and it's really intuitive, easy to use. Um, I'd say it's good for technicians and for um, regular end users that have some familiarity with machines. Um, now the next part, uh, restoring the system, there is a little bit of a trick to it. Um, you have to make a restore disk after you do the backup or before you do the backup. Um, 
this particular piece of software does require that you go to Microsoft and you download the IAK, that's the uh, Windows Automated Installation Kit, which is used for doing uh, um, all kinds of migratory things for enterprise level equipment as well as making uh, pre-installed environments for rescue needs or installations and whatnot. Um, the IAK does a lot of incredible things but what this does is you download the IAK and it grabs the, the uh, pre-installed environment off of it and it installs its uh, MakerM Reflect uh, software with it and consolidates it into like a rescue CD at that point you just put the CD in and the make room will pop up in a pre-installed environment so in other words at that point even if the computer is completely dead you put in a PE environment with this on it and then you hook up your USB drive well you should hook up the USB drive actually before you boot up off the pre-installed envir environment CD so it will detect it um, but then it'll just uh, copy right from the uh, external hard drive right back onto the drive. It does um, all your files, folders, partitions, everything, bada bing, bada boom. Um, and let's see, I, it's setting up the PE. I think I'll go ahead and do a, a third section on setting, uh, at least showing what the pre installed environment looks like. Okay, so as we were saying earlier, uh, th this did a system backup in 23 minutes and 44 seconds, and there was kind of a lot of stuff on this hard drive, so that's really pretty cool. Um, and this is a 64-bit operating system, a late model machine, so that's really cool. Um, it was very intuitive, it was easy to use, install was cut and dry, um, just follow the prompts like you would with any software, um, and always keep in mind to read the lines and make sure that you're not adding any junk in your computer because that stuff can really take its toll and uh, slow down your machine. Um, now the last part of it, uh, um, and you can actually make this disk before you do the backup, but either before or after you make an actual system backup of your, of your computer, um, you need to make a, a, a rescue disk or install disk to go along with the actual um, image that's how you're going to be able to install uh, your backup back on your machine if there is something to happen and and that's the case with most versions like, like uh, most of these kinds of um, imaging backup systems do have some kind of a thing where you run off of some kind of a disk um, that's in case your computer completely dies and you you know you, you don't have the ability to rely on Windows to get your computer up and running in the first place uh, in this case um, Make Rim Reflect actually um, prompts you to go to. Well, let's take a look. It's actually kind of a really neat thing. Other tasks. Create a rescue media. And it'll give you some options. Um, unfortunately, the free uh, version here limited to the one option, and that is to make um, its um, particular custom version that it likes to do. And what it will do is hit next and it, it'll tell you here that it wants to go to Microsoft and download the automated installation kit if you don't have it and that's 1.7 gigs hit continue and basically that's it um, from this point um, it will go to Microsoft for you it will download the the, the Windows IAK or AIK and then you um, install that once it's installed um, this will automatically detect that you've installed the, the automated installation kit and um, you can continue the process here which is just basically hitting continue and next a couple times it, it does the work for you and it'll create a disk and from that disk we'll just back out of this So anytime your computer dies after that, you will be good to go. This does a really good job of backing up. 
and it actually restores your system about as fast as, as it uh, copies it too, which is another nice feature of it. So he um, downloaded the, I, the AIK. Um, he gave it a couple prompts to go ahead. Sorry, I had to reconnect the hard drive there. Um, and it'll make the the PE environment disk for you with the MakeRim software to run it. So what I'm going to do is just going to do a reboot with the disk that it created, just to kind of, and I'm just going to do. I'm just, you're not supposed to do this, but I'm just going to do a kill. It's, I know I've got it backed up. I'm not really that worried about it. This is our own machine anyhow, so. Okay. And for those who don't know, most machines it's hit F10 or F12 to boot off of an alternate disk. You don't have to go into your BIOS to change your boot sequence. So I hit F12 after putting the disk in, then hit tab, tell it OK. From here, it, it, it starts off just like if you were to take a fresh copy of Windows out of the box, put it into a brand new computer, and go to install it. It looks like it's installing Windows, which in fact, it's, it's the same process. Um, since, um, I believe it was Vista, Windows kind of eliminated the, the DOS environment altogether and they came up with what they call a pre-install environment. So instead of DOS, you're actually getting a real sophisticated setup to do your installs with. Um, it, it's got a lot of utilities to do recoveries on there, uh, hard drive repairs, and all kinds of other cool things. So as much as Windows has become a little more bloated and it's got more bells and whistles that one could really live without, um, there's actually a lot of advantages to it as well. It is, and, um, thankfully, Windows 7 versus Vista, they deactivated a lot of my, a lot of the uh, arrow features and stuff that was really slowing computers down. So you can see it looked like it was just starting Windows because it is actually using, a, a, like I said, a Microsoft Windows. PE or pre installed environment, and it's using the, the Macrius Reflect interface with it. Um, now you can Google the company Macrium Reflect, or um, you can go to CNET.com and download this for free. Um, again, just like when you're doing an install, always be careful when you do a download. They'll usually try to get you to uh, download junkware, put a an obnoxious taskbar on your uh, web browser and whatnot. And in this case, I'm not really worried about the drivers because I'm not going to use a network interface card. It's asking if I want to install a NIC driver because this thing can actually install your system off of a server, which is really cool. You can actually deploy off, you know, off a of LAN. And that's it. It it uh, it's the same way when you fir the first time you ran it, how it detects all your drives and stuff, and it kind of lets you know where your system is at. It kind of does the same thing here. It'll pop up a similar interface. It'll show the drives, and then when you tell it restore, you can explore the drives, and you can explore different images. And in this case, we want to open an image with the backup file. So you go like that. Tell it, yeah, go ahead and do that. And it remembers exactly where we put it in this case. But even if not, it'll let you browse. But it went right back to the H drive where it did the image on. And that's pretty much it. Um, it takes all the fuss and muss and hard work out of backing up your system for you. Um, if you're a tech and you're, you're helping people out that aren't uh, computer savvy whatsoever, I, I recommend taking a few extra minutes to, to do this for their system. Um, 
just for next to nothing because it really is a helpful thing for um, both you and for them. And it's just a nice thing to have. Okay, well, that's about it. Have fun with Macris and bye-bye.